Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to show you guys how to run a command in an already running container. Okay, sounds like inception kind of. Why would we want to do this? Well, imagine that we have a service like Redis running on our computer. Now, let's just go ahead and start with this right now. So Docker container uh, will run a Redis container right now. So I already have it downloaded from Docker Hub. It may take a little bit longer for you, but whenever you have a Redis container running, just keep it running in this tab and pop open a new tab because this is how it would work in a real daily workflow. So you wanna keep this Redis service running, but maybe in a separate process, you wanna run the Redis CLI so you can you know, connect to it, configure something about Redis, debug it, all while Redis is actually running in a separate process. So now that we have that running in the background, let me just go ahead and run docker container lsa. And that is because we're gonna need a reference to this Redis containers ID right here. So go ahead and copy that. And now that we have Redis running, we're ready to tap into it. So how do we do this? Well, if we run docker container exec, what this allows us to do is it allows us to run a command inside an existing container. So if you imagine this like a server, we're basically SSHing into this server so we can run an additional command. That is going to be the Redis CLI. So exec. Now after this, we're going to pass in the IT flags. This is essentially going to say that whenever you run this command, we want to be able to interact with it and provide input. So that's what that flag means. And after this, we're just gonna paste in the container ID of the container that we're trying to connect to. Now in this container, the last thing before you hit enter is what is the name of the program that you're trying to run? And ours is just called the Redis CLI. So again, what this is gonna do is it's gonna run the Redis CLI directly inside this container. So I'm gonna hit enter and look at this. We get our nice little interactive prompt where we can now interact with Redis using the Redis CLI. So just to show you guys that it does work, I'll just pass it in help. Yep, nothing bugged out. And for the Redis CLI, if you hit exit, then it exits it. All right, so now we're back to basics. Now, just to demonstrate real quick, the impact that that IT flag has is if we run this exact same command, Again, the uh, container ID didn't change, but we just exclude that IT flag. I just deleted it. I'm gonna hit enter now. Okay, so this Redis CLI does run because that's what we instructed it to do. But as you can see, it just exits right away because we don't have anywhere to you know, interact or input text or anything. Now, another interesting thing is anytime you just wanna shell into a container, like straight up SSH style, what you can do is you can use that IT flag again. Remember, anytime you wanna interact, that's what we do. Now, instead of Redis CLI, we can just pass in SH program, and there we go. Now we just get a simple prompt where we can, you know, CD, LS, yada, yada, all your fun stuff. Now to exit from this, you can either hit Command D on a Mac, or you can type exit, and there you go. Now the last thing I wanna point out, and this has nothing to do with exec, I just don't know where else in this tutorial series to talk about it, but that is anytime you wanna start a container with shell right away, then what you can do is you can run docker container run and include the IT flag so you can interact with it via your terminal. And we'll just use BusyBox since we know that this image which we're gonna be creating a container out of, it does include all those Unix commands. And after this, you can put the default command of sh right away. So whenever you create this container and run it, then you get your command prompt right away. Of course, you can do ls, la, all that fun stuff. And uh, wow, home. This is what Docker views me as, just some nobody. Wow, Docker, it uh, that one stinks, okay. So let's just exit out of here. And uh, yeah, since Docker threw me into kind of a depression there, I think I'll end on that video and uh, go think about life a little bit. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.